So there are a ton of new tropics out there, but this one here gives you wings. Anybody can fly! Let's jump into it. Here we go. So what's happening guys, hope your day's going well. Today we're gonna to review Winged Nootropic by Elevate Labs. We're gonna go over the ingredients so you know what you're putting in your body. And this ingredient profile slaps. This is something else. I'm gonna tell you guys who this is good for, what it's good for. I did it on a training session today. I took it at 7.30, it's about 11 o'clock right now. And as you can tell, I'm still flying and it feels good and smooth. So that's just a little take on the effects on this thing. But we'll get into all that after we go over the serving size because this is not a powder, there's no taste to it. And then we jump into the ingredients and how this thing is designed. So let's get into it. <laughs> So jumping right into the supplement facts, first we have servings. Four capsules equals one serving, 25 servings per container. Not bad. Now let's get into those ingredients. So the first ingredient on the top of the label, we have vitamin B12 as methylcobalamin, not the cyanide version. What? This is the healthier version at 300 micrograms. And this is going to help with neurotransmitter production, dopamine, norepinephrine in the brain, along with regulating homocysteine levels, being a cofactor to GABA and serotonin. It also helps with DNA repair, nerve function, and blood cell formation. Then we have alpha GPC at 800 milligrams. This is going to help with memory, learning, and cognitive processing within the brain. But what you don't know is it also has an impact on the development of the cell membranes in the cerebral cortex, which is the outermost layer of the brain and is responsible for controlling many higher level brain functions, including processing through visual information, producing and understanding language, storing memories, reasoning, problem solving, experience emotions, being aware or a higher state of consciousness, initiating voluntary movements, your own personality, intelligence, and your ability to plan things. Now on to the next ingredient. Then we have cytocholine, another source of choline at 200 milligrams. This is a little different than alpha GPC and I'll explain those differences. But what this does is, is when this crosses the blood brain barrier, this separates into choline and cytokine. The choline is going to actually elevate acetylcholine and the cytokine is a very special component of this ingredient because this actually helps with cellular RNA coding, decoding, and regulation within cell membranes. And once it reaches the brain, it's converted into uridine, which maintains neuron integrity through its role in phospholipid synthesis, which contributes to the structure and integrity and plasticity of cells and brain tissue. So in simple terms, the cytidine and the uridine, when it's converted into uridine, is super important for brain cells and cellular structure throughout the body because those phospholipids help with the integrity of the cell. We want those cells cells to be healthy, for communication to happen from cell to cell to cell, and these lipids form that cell. So the big difference between alpha GPC and CDP choline or cytocholine is alpha GPC has been shown in studies to actually increase exercise output capacity, and at certain levels, it has shown to increase growth hormone. A cytocholine or the CDP choline has the ability to not only increase acetylcholine, but also dopamine and normal or adrenaline. So great combination they put in here and I hope that explains a little bit of the differences there. Now on to the next ingredient. Then we have new pept at 30 milligrams. This increases two peptides in the brain for brain health. That's nerve growth factor and brain derived nerve growth factor. And basically what these do is these help with neuron survival and integrity along with having the ability to strengthen neural pathways and synaptic connections which in turn increases neural communication and improves cognitive abilities like learning, memory, and reasoning. It has also been shown to prevent the release of excess glutamate in the brain, which can cause damage to neurons and even neural death. It also increases alpha and beta brain waves, which is going to give you a calmer, more creative state of mind. And this is going to put you in what they call a flow state or that zoned in state when you're trying to learn something or when you're in the gym like I was today. Now on to the next ingredient. Then we have thin fin or beta PA at 750 milligrams. This is going to increase the TAR1 and TAR2 receptors within the brain. Let me explain what those do. The TAR1 receptors regulate neurotransmitter usage and excitability in the brain, and the TAR2 receptors are involved in sensing certain smells and influencing brain activity when it comes to learning or reward. This actually heightens your senses, basically. Then we have the adaptogen rhodiola at 500 milligrams, but this is extracted differently than a lot of formations out there, and there's a purpose to that. This is extracted to 3% saldrocytes, and let me explain what the saldrocytes do. These have a variety of pharmacological properties, including 
anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, anti-stress, anti-oxidation, anti-apoptosis, and neuroprotective properties. In addition, saldrocytes have been shown to protect the liver, heart, and brain from IRI injury, which is ischemic reperfusion injury, which is caused from free radicals or increased oxygen radicals, restricting the flow of oxygen into different tissues and organs of the body, creating the body's inability to repair itself when oxygen is returned, leaving tissues and organs permanently damaged. So in addition, salgicides don't affect Mayo A, but they affect Mayo B and what the hell is Mayo B? Let me explain to you. So these are both monoamine oxidase enzymes. These enzymes actually regulate dopamine, norepinephrine, and a few other functions within the brain. And by blocking one or the other, we can actually perform certain actions or have certain effects in a supplement like this. Let me explain what Mayo A and Mayo B do. So Mayo A gobbles up or metabolizes dopamine, serotonin, and tyramine within the brain. And then Mayo B metabolizes or gobbles up dopamine and beta PA or P phenethylamine in the brain. So by slowing down the Mayo B from gobbling up phenethylamine, which is thin fin, which is another ingredient in this product, we're going to prolong the effects, the dopamine increase, the sense of well-being and the cognitive function in that particular ingredient. Now on to the next ingredient. So now on to some more familiar ingredients. So we're not going to spend a lot of time or this video is going to be forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. So next ingredient is anacetyl l tyrosine at 350 milligrams. This can be dosed at 350 to 750 on up to a gram. You guys mostly see L-tyrosine, but not the anacetyl form of it. And there is some debate on if one works and the other one doesn't. From my own experience, they both work. And basically what this does is tyrosine is converted into L-dopa when you consume it and then into dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine. This increases cognitive function and focus. And if you take this before training, it's supposed to help with that cognitive function and focus when your body's under stress stressful conditions and it helps with thyroid production t3 and t4 production then we're moving on to a caffeine complex so this is a complex that i really love i love these two caffeine sources put together because dicaffeine malate the slow acting caffeine doesn't do a dang thing for me the hits long enough with just regular caffeine and they threw some citrate in here so you have a total of 333 milligrams of caffeine through these two sources here you got a normal acting caffeine you have the caffeine and hydrus at 200 183, and then you got the caffeine citrate, which is a fast-acting caffeine. It's 100 milligrams, but it's yielding only half of that, which is 50 milligrams of caffeine. And we all know what caffeine does. It just wakes you up. It blocks the adenosine receptors. Now on to the last ingredient. Yes! Yeah. We have alpha yo at two milligrams. This is an alpha two receptor agonist. So we have alpha receptors and beta receptors throughout the body. We have them in the brain. We have them in fat tissue. And that's what we're focusing on here. These receptors store and release lipids within the body. And when they're antagonized, when they're poked, Ow, quit it. when they're forced to do an operation that's not of their normal functioning within the body, they actually will release norepinephrine and epinephrine within the body, which is more energy production because it's part of the fight or flight response within the body as far as like running from a tiger or a bear and not being mauled. So it causes different effects within the body with the lipid release for energy production. It'll actually dilate or restrict blood vessels. It just all depends on the person. Sometimes it will help with bronchial uh, dilation for oxygen uptake as well. So it's a good ingredient. I'll let you guys know if I felt this or not. So let's get on to the effects now. So winged nootropic. How did it do by Elevate Labs? So let's get into how this thing comes in first. Let's just get that out of the way. So you take the four pills. Whether you're taking it for training, whether you're taking it for, you know, working on a computer and just being dialed in into a zone state. Focus. 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 Yeah, uh, 20, 25 minutes is when things kind of drop in. I'd say 30 to 40 minutes is when you really feel it. And 60 minutes is when it peaks. And when it peaks, you are in a zoned in, dialed in state. Oh, he's wired in. I started working on a computer with other things. Um, I'm always researching ingredients, getting more information, finding out how the ingredients actually work on a cellular level and all that stuff and how they affect you and combine the ingredients. So I started working on the computer yesterday and I think it was like 1.30 and next thing I knew it was 4.30. What happened? Different ways you can take this. The four pill dose. You can take it first thing in the morning. And if you work on a computer, if you do paperwork, if you do stuff where you're zoned in, you're talking to people on the phone, whatever, this is not going to affect your normal operations. This is going to, going, going to enhance things. It's going to help you uh, communicate. It's going to help you zone in and get shit done. 
very well designed. As far as workout wise, I did a pre uh, pump formula with this today. Um, here's some clips from my workout today. During the bench press, I was dialed into the muscles, dialed dialed in. It was nice. I'm going to get into the feeling on this as well because it all comes together. It was dialed in to every rep, every set. Now keep in mind the weight I'm pushing here is 225 and I can do this normally, but it just seemed more effortlessly uh, done. Like I felt like I was just kind of moving weight. Just even with the triceps, like uh, the tricep extensions here, I put 90 something pounds. My boy Austin just said, I videotaped that and sent it to you because I was like, oh my God, he's just ripping that out like it's nothing. <laughs> and that's because when I first got into the, the sets and the reps, I was so dialed into the movement and what I was trying to get accomplished that I was able to really dial into my form, the setting up, the tightness where I needed tightness, the locking back of the shoulders. Everything was just dialed in and it was smooth. Nothing crazy in the head. Just total sustained energy for an hour and a half. I could have kept going. And, um, a fantastic feeling during the workout. The pump formula I put on here, I think was a Paul Nutrition's pump formula because it has some l citrulline and some nitrates. Do not stack a formula like a non stem pre workout on this thing because you do not need any new tro new, any more nootropics on this. You really don't. It's going to mess up this probably if you try to add more alpha GPC or more new pep or something like that. This is fully loaded for just a pump formula alone and you will enjoy your workout so those are the different ways there getting into the aspect of the feeling this provides the energy hit in the brain the dialed in focus just like i described the energy hit in the body on a cellular level keeps you running and moving along with an effortlessly get shit done feeling and feeling good about it like you feel good the whole time you're on this. I had no point in the, in the few times I've taken this to where coming off, I felt like crap. Emotionally, I felt like crap. I felt emotionally good throughout the whole day. N nothing negative about this at all. Even the alpha yo was not that strong. Like I didn't feel any side effects on it. It was very smooth on the delivery. And then this is going on to four or five minutes of me talking here. So I'm going to let you guys go. If you guys have any other questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them. Other than that, I'm going to get on through my rest of my day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because I'm going to come back with more and more information for you guys. And we will see you next time on the channel. Take care now. Bye-bye then.